hope Dr. Romano's out of here today. Hey, Dr. Romano, I'm lost. I can't find my way out. Is that a map you've got there? I want you to come over here, and I'd like you to sh see something that I've created for you. A lot of times students say to me they see websites that have organic chemistry on it or something like that. Why don't you see some real organic chemistry from an organic chemist who's been doing organic chemistry for 30 years? In my Dad Destroyer book, I have what's called roadmaps. And I want to just give you an idea of how to use these roadmaps because the roadmaps will hold the key for you to scoring really high on the exam. So come along and let's Okay, have a Dr. Look. Rano. Now, what you have here does look a little intimidating. But what you should do is just look at the starting compound, which is in the middle, and I put a box around it. I'm going to go through a little bit with you, and I'll show you how you should go about doing it. Now, you should focus on the reactions and the reagents as we're going along here. For example, if you make a right-hand turn, you treat this molecule with HBr and peroxide, and I wrote down to you what happens. This is an anti makovnikov addition. Then you make it into a Grignard. Now, once you have a Grignard, I showed you this three options on this. You can treat it with D2O, and you deuterate the molecule, which means you simply add a deuterium atom. Or you treat it with a nitrile. That's always a great question on the DAT. If you treat a Grignard with a nitrile, you end up with a ketone. And then, as you can see at the top, what I did was I reduced down the ketone, and I make the racemic alcohol. Notice plus minus means that you could have had the R and the S on that. So once in a while I show some stereochemistry. If you go back to the Grignard, another really nice reaction is if you treated it with CO2. You carbonate the Grignard to get the carboxy acid, and then you make it into the ACO halide. If you treat this with PCO5, which if I put an arrow, that could have been maybe a little bit looped around, maybe a little bit nicer. You treat the carboxy acid with PCL5 or PCL3 or SOCL2, you make the ACL halide. Here's a reaction most kids wouldn't get. If you treat an ACL halide with the Grignard, you add the Grignard twice. So that reaction sequence is kind of nice. As you can see, one more, if you go down, you do oxymercuration, demercuration to get the secondary alcohol. And then here I oxidize it, and then as you can see, from here, I do a very, very famous reaction called the Vitic reaction. I hope this gives you some idea of how to go about doing these roadmaps. Practice these roadmaps. Sometimes kids erase or they white out certain reagents and then they go back at a later time to fill them in. All right, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, I'll see you in the Facebook study group. Okay, Dr. Mano, I heard a plane going over. Are you leaving today to get back to New York for your study I'll group? I'll be in New York shortly. We're going to be starting the DAC group, and the students will see what FIRE is all about. Good day to you. Good day to you, sir. Good day.